guys, this is Kritika. Welcome back to my channel. We are here in Haiti and this is our last spot here in the Odyssey of the Seas cruise. So we're going to be here till 4.30 p.m. It is currently almost 10 a.m. We have to do a one activity. It's called the North Star. We've mentioned that many times. We're gonna actually experience it today and show you guys. Uh, my voice is kind of going away because I've been shouting and talking so much. Um, this is Haiti right behind. Absolutely beautiful. It is hot. Basically every location we went to is super hot, but it is like very dry and very humid. Uh, so we are all comfortable in our summer outfits in December, uh, but we're super excited to go here. We're gonna go zip lining. We're gonna experience Haiti, but there's only a small part that we can go to. I will explain that when we actually get there. And yeah, we'll get this Haiti vlog started. Hello. Do you wanna say hi? Oh, oh what's up? What's up everybody? Look at this man in his cord. Thinks he's all cool and all. I am cool. Uh-huh. He's also sunburnt. Okay. Relax. The nose is peeling. The forehead is peeling. You want to see the Hi. So we're all ready for the North Star. We're heading upstairs and it was a beautiful day at sea. You can see the clear skies, blue water. It was so vacation-y. And uh, the North Star was an experience we were waiting for. So it's day seven. We finally got to experience it. That's the North Star from there. Basically, it this makes the ship the tallest cruise ship in the world at over 300 feet above sea level when it is raised up. And uh, it's a lot better on port days like we are here on a port day. You can see the ocean views and the cruise. So make sure to sign up for spots early on. Spot guys, please drop my head on this slide window. Gondola will go up for 100 meters above sea level and after it will move it to your right side and to your left side a little bit. Also guys, if you want, you can take a picture and enjoy the view. Thank you. That is amazing. That's our port. Look at the aerial view. I know. Okay, so we really enjoyed the North Star. This is information on Haiti on the board. We are here at the security check and finally here on the port of beautiful Haiti. Let me just say this was our most favorite location. Um, the weather was okay-ish, but it got slightly hotter towards the end. Um, here's our cruise ship on the left side. It's massive, it's beautiful. All right guys, we finally stepped out of the cruise ship. And what's unique about La Badi here is that this is their own kind of location, like the cruise location. So they're gonna set up a very nice barbecue lunch for us and uh, towels and stuff we can all find over here. It's like their own area, so Haiti is not the safest. So we're not allowed to go past a certain point. We can only stay like within the boundaries, like where the visitors can stay. So um, it's very nice that Odyssey of the Seas has organized this private location for all the guests. But right now it's not that hot, but I'm sure we're gonna be burning in a hot. few. My back was sweating like crazy. Excited for I did zip line. It is very hot. Yeah. Why are you lying? It is. It's hot. No, dude. When we were on the. But not right now. Called? What's that thing called? The North Star. Oh yeah. Dude, yeah. I was sweating like crazy. Facts. We God. were. It's not windy. True. Yeah. Look at the way that they like dock this cruise ship. It's crazy. That is tied. Oof. There's one over there. They've really tied the ship up. There's like four on this side. There's yeah. More on the other side. Oh my gosh. Pops! Hey. Finally here at the welcome center of Labadi. 
there is the Welcome to Labadi sign. This place was the most amazing place for pictures. The views, the mountains, the water, the cruise ship over there. It was just so amazing. This is located in the northern coast of Haiti and everyone was getting amazing pictures here. The welcome area had to be the best from all the other locations. There is also an information desk here for anything you want to know about. La Badi vibes going crazy right now. Where's the fam? Oh, they walking. They walking over here. Yeah. Yo, this place has like, I don't know why. It just gives off like a, a vacation-y spot. Like, like Hawaii or something. Right? Kritika, wouldn't you imagine that this is what like Hawaii is like? What buzz? Oh, okay. Nobody wants to respond. Forget SARS back, right? <laughs> so I just captured a bunch of these amazing views. Uh, there are these signs that take you to the location you want to go to so you're not confused. There's a bunch of bars everywhere. There's a floating bar. And just look at this place. Harthik's right. It does look super vacation-y. It was the most perfect place. I saw this Labadi sign and I had to go get a nice picture. So we went there next. Oh my god, this welcome center is amazing. There's music playing. And because this is their own uh, area, they have all their photographers here. If you have the picture package, you can also take some amazing pictures here, especially by the sign in the back. I have to give it to these people in Haiti to organize all these amazing amenities for us. I think it was so well maintained. There were all the facilities there for us. It was actually the most amazing spot to be at. Check out the zip line. This is amazing. We're gonna pass through this. Yeah, it goes all the way up top. If you guys are into water sports, there's like a wave jet tour you can do here as well. Because the beach is beautiful, you can do so many activities here. Um, we're excited for our zip lining. Wow, that looks like so much fun. Wow, okay, we just registered for our zip lining and we got lockers to put in our stuff. Uh, there are a lot of bar areas. If you have the drink package, make sure to bring your card. Um, there's also a floating bar in the water. If you're swimming, you can also get drinks inside the floating bar. So that's pretty cool. They've organized a very nice lunch for us. So you can wash your hands here. They take a lot of care of hygiene and uh, you have your seating arrangements everywhere as you go. You have your refreshers, your drinks. That is so sweet of them to organize. Oh my gosh, on point. So not only do they have the refreshments, but they also have some very nice barbecue lunch. You have pasta, salads, and chicken, corn, rice hot dogs, hamburgers. We don't eat beef, so we didn't try that, but we had chicken. Um, so there was a lot of variety. We also had some very nice fruit, which I'll show you guys, but just look at how much food there was. Literally, we feasted. We feasted first thing when we got to the island, and then there was a bunch of fruit and a lot of nice desserts, which, you know, I surely ate. Okay, we ate and now we're here at the Dragon's Plaza. So this is like a main area. You have this huge Labadi seat. So me and Sartha got a super nice picture over here. And yeah, you guys can see all the signs that they have everywhere. They have these uh, tram cars and they're pretty frequent throughout the day. So you guys can see one. We actually sat in one. And one thing I really appreciated was how friendly the locals are. They're so nice there. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> it's been nice. <laughs> 
We actually enjoyed this tram ride a lot because we got to see a lot of Haiti within like 20 minutes. And there's a lot of seatings here. You guys can see a splash pad for kids on the left side. <laughs> What is super convenient is these tram stations. Basically, there's a bunch of these so you can get off and get on the tram at any time. So this is the Dragon's Fire flight line. And essentially, you buy your tickets beforehand, you bring your tickets, and you can also buy them here. But this is the zip lining adventure. This is the largest over water zip line. It's a half mile long, and this is the largest one in the world. So if you're ever here, Please do zip lining. It's pretty massive and it's not that fast. It's pretty like average speed. So there's like not just one beach. There's three, four beaches here. Some beaches are kind of rocky. Some are sandy. So depending on what kind of beach you like to go to. I don't like rocky beaches because after Cancun, that experience is ruined. Um, but yeah, the other beaches are pretty nice and they're sandy. I think that they said that the best one is the Columbus Beach. Oh. I think that's the one that we saw over there. Yeah, we'll show you guys we'll show around. You guys and there's there. not just one place for food. There's like three or four buffet places next to the bar areas. They have wheelchair assistance. They have a bunch of restroom areas. Everything is so clean. They've maintained the restroom so well. Uh, there's a lady who always checks after everyone goes. So beautiful area, well maintained. They've really put all the facilities out here for, for all of us to use. Hello? How is that? Very good. good. It reminds me of Indian cooking. Oh, it's great. My area. Okay, over there you can also see beach volleyball right behind the splash pad and this was the main beach area there are three four of these but you can see so many seatings there's also the town square which is for souvenirs and shopping we are gonna have a good time hell yeah we are excited anyone scared uh, no fear this is second bang you're doing it true we got it easy Easily. we are all geared up all geared up Are we ready? Woo! Ready and scared. No scared. I'm a little scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're good. <laughs> you get and then they push you. Loved it. Do you have to purchase these? These are loungers. No, they're first come first serve. They're free. Anyone can use these loungers. These people wanted to go to the beach for some time so we're here at the beach. 
and over there is a floating bar that I mentioned before so people chill around there get a drink and relax I'm not going to uh, the beach because I didn't bring my clothes for the beach but I guess these guys can just go in Sartak! So we came to the Artisan's Village, which is um, kind of like shopping area. Uh, you can get your souvenirs, he souvenirs here, local things. Um, the only annoying thing was that um, all these like shopkeepers would keep on calling us. So it's really hard to like look at a certain thing when they're just like attacking you. You want this, you want this. Like I understand they're doing it for their business, but yeah, it was a bit hard to... Uh, to shop there um but you can bargain a lot so make sure to do that they are very nice people they will not steal your money um so if you guys hear other vloggers saying that that's not true they are nice people and they have very nice things so make sure to get a souvenir if you come to haiti two dollars each i like you for india <laughs> everybody says will cost me for you two dollars each mm. you see hello man come on i give you miss Oh, you take my scalp? I do this. Man, that was some mad shopping we did. I don't know what the hell they do here, but they literally attack you. Like, oh, come and shop from us. Come do this, come. And they pull you. And they're like, oh, you're from India? We give you for $10. We give you for $15. And don't tell anybody. And I'm like, well, everybody's saying the same thing. But uh, they do not steal your money. None of that happens. So there's no risk. Uh, just be careful uh, with your money here, though. Um, and I don't know what the hell is happening to me. I don't know, man. It is hot and sticky here. I was told there are some swinging beds in the area. I don't see any swinging beds here, but I was told there are some. There is a lot of seating. It's a fairly quiet place, unless you, uh, you know, go to the music and there's dancing and stuff going around. Otherwise, this place is very beautiful and very relaxing. It's quiet. It's a nice place to come and chill as your last spot here. One thing you will see here are these like clamshell um, loungers, which are like $50 a day, I believe. And they're right by the water. You get more shade if you want to buy those. Uh, if you want to do beach mat rentals, they're about $10 to $20, it depends. So there is a roller coaster here. And that kind of starts from this beach in the back. It's called Adrenaline Beach. And you get a bunch of sports here. You have a basketball court, all these things. So if you guys are into sports, if you uh, come here, you have plenty of things to do. Are you gonna miss this place, mom? Very much. Yeah? You enjoyed among, it? Among all the three islands we visited, this is the best. Yes. Unfortunately, yes. also the shortest time. I know. Very nice. Look at the beautiful water. Look at the beautiful place. You've been kind, Haiti. <laughs> we entered our room to room service. Who did this such a sweet towel little thing for us with my mom's glasses here. How sweet is this? What is this? Oh, these are all the shows that they host. Oh, we saw Effectors. We saw Showgirl. We saw Michael Holly. So we saw three. No, we saw the book. So one, two, three, four. Bye, love, buddy. I'm going to miss this, man. This was amazing. Yeah. All right, guys, I freshened up and uh, I was walking around this area 
realized I didn't show you any decks today. So we're gonna cover deck five and I'm gonna show you guys quickly what deck five has. So we started off with the Focus Photo Gallery, which is the place where you come, pick up photos or any equipment. You can go and see your photos. So if you have the package for pictures, you can come to the laptops here um, and see your photos. You can also buy any equipment if you guys are missing something, um, like some vloggers do. Schooner's Bar is right next to the photo gallery, so you, they have live piano music and they have a bunch of trivia and other activities going around all day. It's a great bar and drinks area as well. So Sarthik really enjoyed just sticking around here, just hearing all the trivia stuff. And it was always super crowded. Like you can see right now, there's barely any place to sit down because everybody wants to hang around the Schooner's Bar. So definitely a must if you come on the Royal Caribbean. That is Chops Grill, which is the signature steakhouse. Their menu is also outside. Um, so you can look at that to see what they have. This is additional cost and is not included with the package. And this is Izumi, which is the Japanese cuisine. You can get sushi here. So some people like to have their own little cuisines which are not offered in the package. There's plenty of seating. There's an amazing setup. You can see one of the tables here beautifully set up so you can have your sushi here. It's right next to the Bionic Bar. And this is all on deck five. This is the Bionic Bar. Um, this is where robots will make the drinks for you. They don't have frozen drinks, I don't think. You can see on the screen there. Um, but you can have any other drink, alcoholic, non-alcoholic. It's a super fun thing to see. It's actually quite interesting. There's a screen, you mix your drink, your alcohol, whatever you want. If you have the drinks package, you can scan that here and your drink gets delivered to you. So it's actually pretty cool. They also have the shore excursion desk, which is where you can buy or ask any questions about excursions. They have all these iPads set up so you can buy your excursions. There's someone there to help you out if needed. There's also the Wonderland specialty restaurant, which is based on Alice in Wonderland tales, if you guys know about that. It's an imaginative cuisine and more than just the food, people will say that it's a really good, like, entertainment value there you kind of get to experience something that's not usually seen any other restaurant we did not get to experience this but it was definitely on my checklist and did not happen then we just came over here to enjoy some outside breeze it was not that cold so it was a perfect day to be outside this is the promenade deck get amazing views of the ocean outside there's seating and on sea days, if you come in the mornings, you actually get a really nice view. So come and enjoy some breakfast here on the promenade deck. And as we were walking on this promenade deck, I felt like sharing some fun facts about this cruise ship. This cruise ship's length is 1,138 feet. The speed it goes at is 25 miles per hour. It weighs 169,000 tons and holds about 5,500 guests and almost 1,600 to 1,700 crew members with plus 75 plus nations represented. So it's a lot of people on this cruise ship. It is the most technically advanced ship at sea. It's basically like your own little city on a cruise ship. So it's pretty amazing. Now we are here at the Via which is basically a passageway. It's beautiful. The artwork here is amazing. You know I got some pictures here, but on the last day, that's gonna be the next vlog. As you cross the Via, you come to the jewelry stores and places to shop. There's a lot of places to shop on this cruise ship. Also, you have your main dining, which you can see under the chandelier. So it's a very nice area. It's a very beautiful place. There's people shopping around, which was surprising because I didn't see these many people on the first few days. Uh, then there's Giovanni's, which is Italian food. They cook fresh pizza here and fresh pasta. 
it is additional cost to dine here but they have really good wine i've heard i haven't tried it but uh you can definitely come here if you like italian food there is a small little art gallery here as well there was one downstairs and there's one over here on deck five as well and didn't really see people buying paintings but you surely can if that is something you're into this is next cruise which is where you can come to buy or book another cruise i know so many people finish a cruise and they're like we're ready for another one so come here and they will help you out this is the cafe at 270 you get all your meals here snack coffee it was closed at the time i went but it's a pretty big cafe and you get most of everything including coffee and tea so come here also it is at the back of the ship where you can go to the 270 the main hall where the book happened and most shows also happen here pretty amazing place you're gonna come here at least three four times if you're ever on this cruise ship so you can easily visit the cafe at 270. so this place actually got its name because um over here you get a 270 degree view of the back of the ship um so it's a great place for evening entertainment seatings are amazing the views are amazing so come here for sure So now the time is 7.45 p.m. The Windjammer, which is where we go for dinner, closes by 9 p.m. So we pretty much have to go for dinner right about now. Um, really not that hungry, so just gonna grab something really quick. Uh, but anyways, I pretty much covered all of Deck 5 for you guys. Showed you guys a glimpse of it so you guys have an idea of what's on this cruise ship. Um, but two or three things I couldn't find. Um, one was the Voom Desk. The Voom Desk is for those people who have like internet connections. Let me say one thing. Data does not work on this cruise ship. Keep that in mind. You need, if you don't care about like the internet and disconnecting from the world, it's okay. You don't need it, but we had to buy it eventually. You can buy the one day or the seven day or eight day package um, because that is important and we've been buying it daily. When we get on the port days, we connect with our data that we've gotten from our company. Um, but otherwise we are connecting to the internet. So if you guys want, you can also do that through the app or you can go to the Voom desk um, on deck five and ask them for help. There's also a chef's table um, on deck five where they will literally curate a whole cuisine for you and your group. Um, and that will be specially for you guys. And there's a diamond member club. That is for all the people who travel a lot, who do more cruises and have more points, whatever. There's a whole, a whole concierge for them, more special food and all those things. So. If you guys want, uh, if you guys have those privileges, you can go there. It's a reserved area. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything else is already covered. And that is it for this vlog. Today was an amazing day at Haiti. And uh, we are super glad we got to experience it. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as well. Um, but tomorrow's our last day for this cruise. So we'll see you guys on the last episode of the cruise series. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And don't forget to hit the bell notification for future updates. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!